here shows him sitting on the ground. And these pictures are much better if you get on the Keeley net site. This is the platform with him on it about three to six feet above the ground because here's the shadow here down below. Now you can say this is all faked, but if you get into the other things they did with uh, shape, they almost mirror the stuff that I discovered. And it, it, it proves, I guess, that you know there's either two crazy people in the world or there's two people that have found the same discoveries. So I think that this is a valid phenomenon, and I'll, I'll show you why. Next slide is a uh, micrograph that I took of a beetle inner wing. This is at a 100x. If you look closely at this thing, you can see rows of bumps all along the bottom of this wing. Uh, and it, there's, the, each row is staggered uh, from the next row next to it. And this is all over the surface of the bottom of the wing. Now, I don't know of any aerodynamic surface that has bumps all over the bottom to help it fly better. If you blow this up to 430x, uh, you can start to see some of this microstructure of the uh, cells that form uh, where the bumps are. The next slide at uh, 970x, you start to see what these bumps that stick up are. They're a uh, hairs, look like hairs or uh, fibers that, that grow out of the center of these hexagonal cells. And of course, this harkens back to my basic shape power discovery is that each one of these, because of their uh, shape going down to a point, is creating a magnetic field. And remember, a magnetic field is a rotating piece of vortex in 